Okay, welcome everyone to another uh, great chess video brought to you by chess.com. And uh, this is FM Daniel Wrench speaking. And let's get right to it. Okay, we are continuing our uh, mastery of rook and games. And as we continue to do that, we move more and more toward practical positions and positions that have occurred in real games and all kinds of tricks. And, and now this is one of the first we've done where we have a real... Um, very effective method to know against position that's a borderline draw. Borderline draw, but um, um, a, a technique and a method and a trick that if you know it um, will win you some games you maybe weren't supposed to win. So here is a position where we are in a where black is to play. Um, now if you look at this position, you're up a pawn and uh, you've got some obvious moves like putting the rook on b2 check, uh, which would force the king to to go backward and and then it seems that bringing our king forward would, would be a nice way to make progress. But um, I'd like to invite you to take a second right off the bat and try to calculate some of this in your head and see if you can notice what some of the obvious problems are with that. Um, keep in mind that as you move more and more toward advanced positions, you have, to keep, you have to keep in your database of knowledge in your head the things you know. Things like the Philidor draw, things like your goals of Lucina position. Things like, uh, you know, rook on long side, king on short side. Those technical ideas, those fundamental ideas you learned are going to apply to these positions, uh, whether you're trying to win or draw. And so the more you can keep that in your database of knowledge, the better your chances are of solving these positions over the board. So again, I'm going to be quiet for just a second. Go ahead and, and see if you might be able to know what black should do here. Okay, and we're back. So let's say you've taken a second, and hopefully you figured out the right idea. Um, Black only has one way to win this position, actually, believe it or not, and I think he needs to do it right away. Um, giving this check is is uh, not effective. Um, well, let, let's um, let's see. Let's let's um, let's let's say we we were starting in a position where where it was white to move first, and a lot of times we have to make uh, whites move first on these boards. Um, so forget about that. We're still in this position. It's black to play, and. Um, Let's look at the, the problem with bringing this rook forward check. When I move back, um, if your king comes forward to either f3 or to d3, um, I'm going to give a check. Now, if you come to d3, I'm going to start checking you on the long side. And again, my rook, is, my rook is just far enough away that your king cannot reach me without leaving the pawn. And if your rook blocks, I'll trade and bring my king forward. There you might even lose. Um, now, if, you're, if your king moved the other way to f3, I'm going to go ahead and take this pawn with check and, and, and move down, and we're immediately in a draw because we're in a Philidor position. Your pawn is extended too far, and your king will have no place to hide from checks. We hope you enjoyed this video demo from chess.com. Subscribe today to finish this video and get unlimited access to our full video library. Your membership also includes access to Chess Mentor, the most advanced interactive training tool available anywhere. You'll also get full access to the Opening Explorer, Tactics Trainer, and much, much more. So sign up today and get serious about improving your game.